Congratulations on the film. Um, the film obviously has its origins in a book of photographs. Yes. So did you find that that drove your vision for how it should look on screen, or did you just take an inspiration from that and move it along? Uh, it absolutely affected how it looked on screen, but not just that, about how it felt. I mean, the whole purpose for making this movie is to try to give people the feeling that I got when I looked at this book of photographs for the first time. They're simply the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And to have people sit down for two hours and feel like they experienced this thing, this thing that was very particular to a, to a specific time and a place and a moment in history that is now gone. Um, I wanted people to have that feeling and feel, in a way, that loss, but more importantly, that nostalgia. One thing photographs don't give us is sound. Yeah. And that's one thing that's very important in the film. How, how much work did you have to put into making it a very visceral experience with the bikes? Well, you know, I'm going to answer that two ways. First off, we were really lucky in that um, the only text in the book were interviews with some of these bike riders and one of their wives. And I was able to get the real audio recordings of that. And once I heard them, these beautiful 1960s, very thick Chicago accents came out. And I was able to give that to all of the actors. And, uh, and so they were able to kind of bring this other dimension to the photographs. You've got the look sitting there in front of you, staring you, staring you in the eye, but then you have this voice. And, uh, and that was incredibly important. But then you have the voice of the bikes. And luckily, I have one of the greatest sound designers in the world, a guy named Will Files. And he was able to carve out not only space for the music, but space for these bikes. When you see this film in a theater, it will literally rumble your insides. And that's what we were going for, because that's what it feels like when you're around these bikes. And um, obviously the, the cast for this you have is fantastic and the chemistry between them as well. Yeah. How much fun was it to pull that together? And also the accents aren't just um, from a different place. They're off, as you said, from a different time. Yeah, well, absolutely. Like, regional accents are disappearing, you know? I'm not sure how, how the Brits feel about it, but, you know, I think in the United States, because everyone's listening to the same music, they're watching the same TV, these places that used to have very definitive regional accents, they're kind of softening, they're kind of disappearing. So I would challenge anybody in, in Chicago right now, you know, uh, they probably aren't going to sound a lot like, like these people. But I have the audio, like it's, it, it's real and, it, and, it's, and it's beautiful, you know. So I don't know, it's, it's, it's part of this kind of ta time capsule feeling that the film tries to tap into, that like, this doesn't exist any longer, come visit it, come see what it felt like. And, it's, and that was a good, an interesting one because cultures form in, in a different way then than they do now. Mm. So it's, it's, talking, it's looking at forming about cultural groups in a pre-internet era, which so, is alien to a lot of people. So how, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, I actually, I kind of disagree. I, I think these are cycles that repeat themselves. Um, these guys didn't feel like they belonged in the center of, of society, so they moved to the outside of it. Um, and then they found identity, they found purpose in a group. I mean, that's happening today. It can be a very powerful thing, it can be a positive thing, it can also be a very negative thing. But look at the Proud Boys. I mean, what drove those guys to do what they did on January 6th? This is a group of guys who didn't feel like they belonged, they felt like outsiders, they felt rejected for some reason, and they banded together. So this is happening today, it's going to happen in the future, and it certainly happened in the 1960s. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!